through glory to the holy consubstantial life created in a divine trinity, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. O oh Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O oh Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. How many are my foes, O oh Lord? How many are rising up against me? How many are saying about me, there is no help for him in his God? But you, Lord, are a shield about me, my glory who lift up my head. I cry aloud to the Lord, he answers from his holy mountain. I lie down to rest and I sleep. I wait for the Lord upholds me. I will not fear even thousands of people who are ranged on every side against me. Arise, Lord, save me, my God. You who strike my foes on the mouth, you who break the teeth of the wicked. O Lord of salvation, bless your people. I lie down to rest and I sleep. I wait for the Lord upholds me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Serve you in fear and love, 
may praise your ineffable goodness. For to you is to all glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My spirit yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let them be shamed when they see your zeal for your people. Let the fire prepared for your enemies consume them. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. You have increased the nation, O Lord, increased the nation to your own glory. Alleluia, Alleluia. Son and to the Holy Spirit. Behold, the bridegroom is coming in the middle of the night. Blessed is the servant, he shall find the way. But the one we shall find neglectful will not be worthy of him. Be
Even that will happen. He will receive all that you pray for, provided you have faith. After Jesus had entered the temple precincts, while he was teaching, the chief priests and elders of the people came to him and said, On what authority are you doing these things? Who has given you this power? Jesus answered, I too will ask a question. If you answer it for me, then I will tell you on what authority I do the things I do. What was the origin of John's baptism? Was it divine or merely human? They thought to themselves, If we say divine, he will ask us, Then why did you not put faith in him? While if we say merely human, he shall have reason, he shall have reason to fear the people who all regard John as a prophet. So their answer to Jesus was, We do not know. He said in turn, Then neither will I tell you on what authority I do the things I do. What do you think of this case? There was a man who had two sons. He approached the elder and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. The son replied, I am on my way, sir. But he never went. Then the man came to his second son and said the same thing. This son said in reply, No, I will not. But afterward, he regretted it and went. Which of the two did what the father wanted? They said, The second. Jesus said to them, Let me make it clear that tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came pleading a way of holiness, you put no faith in him, but the tax collectors and the prostitutes did believe in him. Yet even when you saw that, you did not repent and believe in him. Listen to another parable. There was a property owner who planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug out a bank, and erected a tower. Then he leased it out to tenant farmers and went on a journey. When vintage time arrived, he dispatched his servants to the tenants to obtain a share of their grapes. The tenants responded by seizing the slaves. They beat one, killed another, and so the third. A second time, he dispatched even more slaves than before, but they treated them the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, thinking, They will respect my son. When they saw the son, the tenants said to one another, Here is the one who will inherit everything. Let us kill him, and then we shall have his inheritance. With that, they seized him, dragged him outside the vineyard, and killed him. What do you suppose the owner of the vineyard will do to those tenants when he comes? They replied, He will bring that wicked crowd to a bad end, and lease his vineyard out to others, who will see to it that he has grapes at vintage time. Jesus said to them, did you never read in the scriptures? The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone of the structure. It was the Lord who did this, and we find it marvelous to behold. For this reason I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a nation that will yield the rich harvest. The kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a nation that will yield the rich harvest.
and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses truly I know them, my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? That you may be justified when you give sentence, and me without regret when you judge. For seeing guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the Lord your life was faithful. From my sins turn away your grace, and blood out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would reduce. My sacrifice and contrite spirit, a humble and contrite heart you will not spare. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, burnt offerings wholly consumed, then you will be offered young bulls on your altar. Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. Watch over your world in mercy and compassion. Exalt the strength of true Christians and send down upon us your abundant mercies. Through the prayers of our altar lady, the faithful cause and ever virgin Mary, through the power of the precious and life-creating cross, through the protection of the honorable heavenly and angelic powers, through the prayers of the honorable and glorious prophet, forerunner and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles, of our holy fathers, the great hierarchs and universal teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, of our Holy Father, Nicholas the Wonderworker, Archbishop of Myra and Lycia, of the Holy Eagles, to the Apostles and Teachers of the Slavs, Cyril and Methodius, of the Holy Eagle, to the Apostles, the Faithful Great Prince Vladimir, of the Holy Martyr Joseph, Bishop of Polot, of the Great Martyr Theodore, Bishop of Lucachevall, of our Blessed Fathers and Confessors, Paul, Bishop of Preshon, and Basil, Bishop of Medina, of the Holy, Glorious, and Victorious Martyrs, of our Venerable and God-bearing Fathers, Anthony and Theodosius of the Monastery of the Caves, and of our Venerable and God-bearing Fathers, of the Holy and Just Ancestors of God, Joachim and Emma, and of all the Saints, we beseech you, O all merciful Lord, Hear the prayers of sinners and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And as a model of the knowledge and confession of sins, you have revealed to us the repentance of the prophet David, which led to pardon. Master, have mercy on us, who have fallen into so many and so great sins. Have mercy in your kindness and in your compassion, blot out our offenses. For against you have we sinned, Lord, who alone know the hidden depths of our hearts, and who alone have the power to forgive sins. Of your heart you have created for us, you have sustained us with the spirit of fervor, and have given us the joy of your power. 
do not cast us away from your presence, but in your goodness and love for all, grant that we may offer a sacrifice of righteousness and oblation on your holy altar until our last breath. Through the mercies and goodness and love of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your own holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and Oh, uh-huh. 
glory to you. While going to his passion, the Lord said to those whom he loved, Everyone will know that you are my disciples if you keep my commandments. Be at peace among yourselves and with all others. Be humble in your thoughts, and you shall be exalted. Praise your Lord and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Lord, now and ever and forever. Amen. Among you, power must be just the opposite as it is with the Gentiles. I do not leave you a legacy of vanity as do the tyrants. If any among you wish to be first, they must show themselves to be the last of all. Praise your Lord and exalt him above all forever. Let us praise, bless, and worship the Lord, singing and highly exalting him above all forever.
He is the praise of all his saints. Of the sons of Israel, of the people to whom he comes close. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the people. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exalt in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing, and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in your glory. Shout with joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips, and a two-edged sword in their hand. Give you loud vengeance to the nations, and punishment to all the people. To bind their kings in chains, and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence we ordain, this honor is for all his people. Praise God in his holy place. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his powerful deeds. Praise his surpassing greatness. Glory created to his passion. But Lord said to his disciples along the way, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem. And the Son of Man shall be delivered up as it is written. Come, let us purify our thoughts that we may grow with Him. Let us be crucified with Him. In Him we shall die to the pleasures of His Lord, that we may live with Him and hear Him say to us, I am no longer going to the earthly Jerusalem to suffer, but I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. You shall go with me to the heavenly Jerusalem in the kingdom of heaven. Praise him with sound of trumpet, praise him with lute and harp. Glory freely to his passion, the Lord said to his disciples on the way, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be delivered up as it is written. Come, let us purify our thoughts, that we may grow with Him. Let us be crucified with Him. In Him we shall die to the pleasures of His Lord, that we may live with Him and hear Him say to us, I am no longer going to the earthly Jerusalem to suffer. But I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. You shall go with me to the heavenly Jerusalem, in the kingdom of heaven. Praise him with timbrel and dance, praise him with strings and pipes. Suffering which is beyond the expression, that he may save us from sin and death, and that he may also raise us. It is goodness and love for all of us. Oh, praise him with resounding symbols, praise him with clashing of symbols. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. O faithful, let us hasten to the saving compassion of Christ our God. Let us glorify his long suffering, which is beyond expression. Let he may save us from sin and death, and let he may also it is goodness and love for all of us. Glory to 
the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. When you were going to your passion, O Lord, you confirmed the faith of your disciples by taking in them outside and saying, How can you forget the words I have spoken to you? The scriptures say that all the prophets die only in Jerusalem. Now the time of which I have spoken to you has arrived. Behold, I shall be delivered into the hands of sinners. They shall mark me and nail me to the cross. After bearing me, they shall number me among the dead. Take courage, however, for I shall rise on the third day to bring joy to eternal life and for the faithful. To you all glory is due, O Lord our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to you who show us the light. Glory to God in the highest, and to earth, peace and goodwill among men. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we thank you for your great glory. Lord God, and the King, Father Almighty, Lord only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and your Holy Spirit. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, hear our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are holy, you alone are the Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father, amen. I will bless you day after day, and praise your name forever. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the last. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. O oh Lord, I have left to you. Teach me to do your will, for you are Lord, O oh my God. In you is the source of life, and in your light we see light. Extend your mercy to those who know you. Make us worthy, O oh Lord, to be kept sinless this morning. Blessed are you, O oh Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise your name, glorious is your name forever. May your mercy, O Lord, be upon us, because we have placed our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Master, make me understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your commandments. O Lord, your mercy is forever. Despise not the work of your hands. To you is due praise, to you is due on him, to you is glory due. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us complete our morning prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin, let us beseech the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. For a Christian, painless, unashamed, peaceful end of our life, and for a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, let us beseech the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious name, that they have told most and ever heard. Let us 
us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. We sing to you, we praise you, we bless you, and we thank you, God of our fathers, for you have banished the dark of night and shown us once again the light of day. We beseech you, forgive our sins and accept our prayer in your great tenderness of heart, because we take refuge in you, the merciful and all-powerful God. Shine in our hearts, your true Son of Justice, enlighten our minds and guard all our senses, so that walking blamelessly in the path of your commandments, as in daylight, we may reach eternal life, for in you is the source of life. Make us worthy to enjoy the unapproachable light. For you are our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. With your all-seeing eye, watch over all creation. To you we bend our neck in spirit and body, and we implore you, O Holy of Holies. Stretch forth your invisible hand from your holy dwelling place and bless us all. If we have sinned voluntarily or involuntarily, forgive us as a good God who loves mankind and gives us earthly and heavenly gifts. For yours are mercy and salvation of Christ our God, and we give glory to you with your eternal Father and your life creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. What understanding the depths of the ineffable is he of your shall exalt and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Show forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. When you taught your disciples to seek what which is higher, you said to them, O Lord, do not imitate the pagans by Lord who are we? It shall not be that way with you, for I have chosen to be more. The first among you shall become the servant of the rest. The one who commands shall be as the one who obeys. The most humble shall be as the the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. O oh, faithful, let us fear the punishment of the fig tree, which was dried up for not having borne any fruit. Let us suffer worthy fruits of repentance to Christ, who grants us his Glory to the Father, and 
to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Our servant body from the second team in the Egyptian woman, who had tried to make Joseph succumb to her words of flattery. But he avoided sin. He left his garment behind, but was not ashamed of his nudity. As for our first parents, after their disobedience, through his prayers, O oh Christ, have mercy on us. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Glory cleanse us of our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, come to us and be our authorities for your mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. As we stand in the temple of your glory, we consider ourselves standing in heaven. O Theotokos, heavenly gate, open to us the doors of your mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Was holy for me, I 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 was holy for me, was holy for me, I 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 was holy for me, Blessed is Christ our God, the one who is always, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Of heaven, support our civil authorities, confirm the faith, calm the nations, give peace to the world, and safeguard this city. Grant those who have gone before us a dwelling place among the righteous. Accept us in repentance and confession, for you are good and love us all. Oh, Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and forever. Amen. For honor of all that thy cherubim, and be our comfort more glorious than thy seraphim. O virgin gave birth to God the Word, 
In the name of the Lord, give the blessing, Father. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. Lord, advance us my life. Spare me from the spirit of indifference, despair, lust for power, and knowledge. Instead, bestow on me, O servant, the spirit of integrity, humility, patience, and love. Yes, O yes, Lord, Lord and King, let me see my own sins, and not judge my brothers and sisters, for you are blessed forever and ever. Amen. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O oh God, oh God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O oh Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O oh God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O oh Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O oh God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O oh Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Lord, the master of my life, spare me from the spirit of indifference, despair, lust for power, and idle chat. Instead, bestow on me, your servant, the spirit of integrity, humility, patience, and love. Yes, O Lord and King, let me see my own sins, and not judge my brothers and sisters, for you are blessed forever and ever. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ, God our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Give thou blessing. May Christ, our true God, who went voluntarily to his passion for our salvation, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother, through the protection of the honorable, heavenly, and corporeal powers, through the prayers of the holy apostles, to the Psalm, Cyril, Methodius, patrons of this church, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all.